Hey everybody, Derek here, and today I'll be comparing all four of the Lumi Sunrise Alarm Clocks. The Rise 100, the Glow 150, the Shine 300, and the Lux 700 FM. Now for the Europeans watching, there's a couple models I can't get here in the US, like the 750 DAB. It looks an awful lot like the 700 FM that I could get, so perhaps the only difference is the radio tuning. In this video, we'll go over the brightness and flicker data I collected during my testing, and we'll also compare these to all of the other lamps I've tested. I'll also go over the key differences and features, and I'll conclude with my overall thoughts and recommendations. If you're curious, I have a comprehensive video on the best sunrise alarm clocks that you can find up here or down below. First, let's discuss sunrise customization. While the Rise has a fixed 30 minute sunrise, the Glow can be set to either 20, 30, or 45 minutes, and the Shine and Lux can both be set anywhere from 15 to 90 minutes, giving them the longest durations of any of the lamps I've tested. The Rise and Glow models have just five brightness settings, making them almost impossible to fine tune. The drop between level five and four, for example, is so steep that it basically makes these settings pointless. For instance, on level five at one foot, the rise measures at about 360 lux, which is good. Dropping it to level four, however, brings the lux down to 35, which is about 10 times lower and is too dim to be useful. In contrast, the shine and lux offer 20 brightness settings, making them far easier to fine tune. So how did these look in our testing? Well, the first thing I did is run them through our integration sphere so I could test the total light output in lumens. I was also able to test the sunrise curves. Here's how they stack up. As you can see, the Lumi lamps perform at the top of the pack. Oddly, the shine is much brighter than all the rest, falling just short of the Hue Twilight lamp, which I just reviewed. You guys can check out a review of that up here if you're curious. While lumens tell us how much total light a lamp puts out into your bedroom, I had to measure lux in order to see how effective they would be at any distance. So next I put each lamp in front of our lux spectrometer and measured each brightness setting every six inches. Here we see something interesting happen. Except for the shine, all the Lumi lamps fall in the rankings. This is due to their 360 degree light dispersion design. We can see this if we compare them to a Philips clock, for example. So while they are among the best at lighting up the entire room, they fall short of directing that light where it matters most, at you. Now you might prefer the feeling of your entire room being lit up, but this is just something to be aware of. Here's a 10 second time lapse video of all four clocks running through their sunrise. I tried to set the camera settings to show you exactly how these would look in a dark room. Now something unique to the Lux is that it has two sunrise options, a normal sunrise and a low blue option. After measuring both, there really doesn't seem to be a huge difference between the two. They output basically the same amount of Lux. The only real difference is that the low blue sunrise ends at around 3000 Kelvin, while the normal sunrise ends at 4000 Kelvin. So the normal one might be a better option post waking because it contains a little bit more blue light and might function as a sad lamp at that point. If you buy one of these, or if you buy any sunrise alarm clock, I recommend starting at about 250 lux, which is what most studies use, adjusting up or down from there. I've included charts like this one in the article for this video, which you can find below. This will help guide you to pick a good starting lux that you can adjust from there. The dark pink indicates a higher chance of an early or delayed awakening when using a sunrise alarm clock. All right, now it's time to look at the sunrise curves. What I like to see here is a nice gradual increase in brightness that speeds up as the sunrise goes on. And that's what we see with the Lumi clock, so there's really nothing to be concerned about here. Next, I tested flicker. To do this, I ran each lamp before our flicker meter on half and full brightness. Now, as you can see, both the rise and glow had basically zero flicker. This changes, however, once we get to the shine. At full brightness, it's still flicker free, but once dimmed, we see a 200 Hertz waveform pattern appear, which is at about 100% depth, which means that this thing is shutting off and on completely 200 times per second. Looking at the Lux, we see the same waveform, but this time it's at both full brightness and half brightness, so it's all the time. Now this 200 Hertz waveform does qualify for the high risk category for flicker. So if flicker is a concern for you, this is something to be aware of. Okay, well that's it for testing. 
We're gonna move on to features and usability because there's a lot to talk about there with these. Both the rise and glow buttons and navigation are essentially identical, and I found both pretty easy to use. The shine and lux are much different than those, and I found the lux quite a bit easier to use than the shine. Shine has 11 buttons for navigation, and while they technically make sense once you get used to them, I sometimes found myself forgetting which ones did what. The Lux, on the other hand, has the same four main buttons for navigation, but includes two knobs that replace the extras, which I found a lot more intuitive to use when navigating the menu system. In either case, I found both easier to use than the Philips HF3650, uh, which I reviewed up here, which just uses icons instead of words, and that one's just kind of a mess. Now, one thing I found kind of dumb is that all of the Lumi clocks are stuck on 24 hour time. That makes sense, I suppose, because this is a UK based company, but anyone from the States is bound to prefer 12 hour time. Granted, most people are gonna be using this in the morning when 12 and 24 hour time aren't different really, but it's just something to be aware of. Like for example, and maybe you work a night shift, this could be something that you're just like, eh. Regarding alarm scheduling, the rise and glow only allow you to set one alarm, which is manageable, that's fine. The annoying part is that after it goes off, you have to manually re-enable it every day. If you forget, it's just not gonna go off the next day. Why? I, it's just, it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Now the Shine and Lux fix this by offering a weekly alarm mode. So you don't have to re-enable these, they just work every day. So if you don't want to have to worry about turning your alarm on every day, I would go with one of those two. One more thing worth mentioning is that all four of these clocks have an auto off feature for the screen. The Rise, Glow, and Shine all have a switch on the bottom that you can set to either auto off or auto dim, and the Lux offers the same setting in the menu system. If you're an audio person, the Lux offers Bluetooth streaming and has a very heavy duty radio antenna that the others don't have. Speaking of audio, I don't recommend using an audible alarm with a sunrise alarm clock. The purpose is after all to wake up naturally with light. However, if you're curious, we did record all of the audible alarms for these clocks that you can find in the article that's in the description below. Some sunrise alarm clocks have wind down and sunset features that basically just slowly dim the light over time. All four of these lamps have that feature, although they vary a bit in their options. The Lux and Shine offer 15 to 90 minute sunsets. However, the Lux does offer more nature and noise based options and has that audio through Bluetooth as well. The Glow contains even fewer sounds and is limited to 20, 30, and 45 minute sunsets, just like its sunrise. And the Rise has no audio options at all. With all that said, here are my overall thoughts and takeaways. The Shine 300 is the brightest traditional sunrise alarm clock I've tested. It offers up to 90 minute sunrise durations and lights up the room nicely. Still, it flickers and doesn't have the greatest user interface. If you can handle the buttons and you don't mind the flicker, I would get this one, it's my favorite. The Rise 100 and Glow 150 are more affordable and straightforward to use, but lack brightness flexibility and re-enabling the alarm every day is annoying. The Lux 700 FM is of course the most expensive option and performs better than the Rise and Glow models. It has sunrise customizability similar to the Shine 300, but is a bit easier to use and has more audio options. Really the only reason to swing for this one because it is much dimmer than the Shine 300 is if you really want that Bluetooth streaming or you're a big radio FM fan. Lastly, all of these clocks display 24 hour time only, which may be a drawback for some. Now, if you're not a fan of that, consider checking out my review of the Philips Smart Sleep Lamps, which I'll link to up here and in the description below. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, please give it a like. That helps me out a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.